Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Um, so there's a few different things. Uh, you can see the orange tail of it there. That's the Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter. And then somewhere over here is the Scar PDW. I don't really know which one I'm going to do as of right now. Um, and the, behind me is my desktop that is currently taking the final uh, wall design that I have for Solid Bricks' studio's uh, second challenge for the Kashyyyk model. Sorry if you hear this, by the way. I know it probably gets really annoying, so let me check it real quick. Um, and it's going to render. It's going to look really nice, and then I'm going to send it off to him in an email. Um, the other thing that you might notice is that I'm wearing something new. This is actually a... Assassin's Creed cosplay outfit that a friend got me. I will give a shout out to my Indian friend. I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he's comfortable with me releasing that information, but he is a good friend of mine and he did give this to me as a gift and I really appreciate that on a whole new level. So level, so thank you, my friend. It means a lot to me. It's actually really nice. Um, I really like this one. Uh, the only thing so far is that the hood on the back isn't latched down like it should be. Uh, but my grandmother and I know how to sew, so that should not be a problem. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to review the Twin Jedi Starfighter or the PDW, so let's find out. So... What exactly can I flip up in the air on which side it lands on? I'll do a Kashyyyk Trooper, how about that? So I got a Kashyyyk Trooper here. Uh, so I guess if he lands this side up, we'll do the Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter, and if he lands with his back up, we'll do the Scar PDW. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to flip this up. He landed face up, which is the Jedi Starfighter. So it looks like we can review the Jedi Starfighter this go around. It's just how it is. I'm going to go ahead and take this off, just so you guys can see this better. Alright, so this is the Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter. This is my third version of this. Uh, actually, fourth version. Um, this is still relying on the older style cockpits. I have a more updated version called the Lancelot that uh, uses a different cockpit design and it looks a lot sleeker than these. Um, so I might have to shift over to that, but I don't know where I can pick up those cockpits from in this nice clear color exactly. Um, so. I'm going to flip it over on its side here, and then this is the bottom of it. And then we're going to start with the nose and move our way back to the tail section. Um, so basically, just like every other Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter I've done, the front slope part here is actually a compartment to store things. Uh, for any of you who have been sticking with my channel for a long time, you know I don't like to waste space. And this was a big waste, a space waster on normal uh, Jedi Starfighters from LEGO. So I built this one to come off. It's a little difficult, and it does take the front part of this nose if you don't do it correctly. But for the sake of time, I will remove the entire nose piece with it. Um, and inside this compartment here is a full-sized length blaster rifle and a pair of binoculars and it, it just again it's supposed to be just these two green pieces um, but it came off entirely so whatever so you can snap that back into place and now it's nice and secure it's got the long nose part on it looks really good especially with these uh, printed pieces I believe these are printed in here if they're stickers they're sticking on pretty good um, and it slopes up into where an astromech would be sitting sitting uh, but this is a specific type of Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter. This is a prisoner transport type Jedi Starfighter. So let's say the Jedi capture a Sith. Uh, you obviously don't want to take that on a normal type jail. So why not do it with a Twin Seat Jedi Starfighter like this? Um, so what I've done is removed the astromech place. And I've replaced it with these three cylinders that are translucent green. And then put these windows open over it that open up just like so to reveal that. Uh, so what that is is essentially like your hyperdrive, your core, um, 
a part of your engine essentially. So the number one defense mechanism that this craft has on its own is basically sheer speed, being able to get away from any threat coming at it very, very quickly. Um, and that is one of the components that helps it do so. Give me one sec, I have to answer this. Um, so that's pretty much there and we're going to work our way up to the cockpits and then we'll do the wings and then the tail section. Um, so both cockpits do have computers in them. So this is the main computer here and then this is the secondary computer up there. So your pilot would be sitting in here in a really nice, these fold open instead of having you having to lift them off. There's enough room for a Jedi in there. Then it folds back down. Same thing up here, this folds open. More room for a Jedi, and I better look at the computer. Now what's really nice about the secondary cockpit is that there are windows down below this one so that you can see a little bit more around you from inside of this cockpit. So your co-pilot can also act as a spotter uh, for any threat that might be coming at you from these like low angles down the wing here. Um, so speaking of the wings themselves, these are actually really nice wings. I love the designs of these wings because it's a nice, it's the light green, the bright orange, and then the sand green here, and then a lot of light green, some translucent orange, and then more sand green. Um, but these here on the side, these translucent cockpit pieces, are your essentially jail cells. They're really small. They're supposed to be, um, I have Zamwazil or whatever her name is right here, the changeling. She does have the back face, which is really creepy. I don't like it, so I do the front face. I don't have the helmet for her because this also came from the garage hall as well as most of these pieces. Garage sale hall as well as most of these pieces. Um, so essentially all you're going to do is pop open this cockpit here. Lay your bad guy or whomever inside of there like so. And then put this cockpit right over top so that they're in a nice safe transported position. Um, so I designed it like this for a reason. So obviously if they're in this glass container you're gonna be able to see what they're doing 24-7. So your co-pilot up here can look down look down and make sure they're not trying to break out and it's not like they can hide anything because they're in a glass container. Also, what's really nice about this glass container is that, I don't know, maybe you've gotten information out of the person that you need, and then you just need to get rid of them. So you jettison off the cockpit, and then they're left out in space, and they die of space. That's a good way to put it. You should be fine if you don't try to breathe for, I think it was like three seconds that they said. If you try not to breathe, you should be fine, but... After that, you're going to die of coldness. So, yeah, she would die without the glass. That was a good talk. Uh, I don't like the shaping back here, but I didn't have any other pieces that I really wanted to uh, use to shape this off a little bit better. Uh, I would have preferred other pieces that are over there that I can't get because it's a part of, one, a part of another model. Uh, so I have to apologize. These side panels here, also sport the lighter green, the bright orange, the sand green, the translucent orange, sand green, a little bit of gray. I want this to actually be like a sand green. That'd be a lot better. Uh, but these are essentially a nice seam transition between this wing and the fuselage itself. Um, the like normal Lego model had you use like little arch pieces. I don't have very many of those, so I actually jury rigged it essentially and used these side panels, which I think are better because you can get a lot more design out of them and as you can see it's doing its job quite well. Um, moving on to the undercarriage. As you can see I'm missing a part off this wing. The other bracket, two brackets obviously better. Uh, this wing is nice and large. This other wing is nice and large. You got the two guns right down here which are nice if you need to fight but again speed is the main thing to get you out of situations so they're just here for backups. Um, there's no engines, so technically this could not even fly, but hey, eh. I don't have the pieces to make the engines, unfortunately, and I will probably make this model an LDD 
100% better, 100% complete, and it probably looked pretty good. Now then, this part right here, as you probably noticed, it's kind of missing things. I'm surprised you can actually see way down in there. The little black clip piece is supposed to hold a box that extends out to about the back of here. And in that box, you can hold the Jedi lightsabers. Um, I know in most of the Lego models, they come with little clips on the back of the wings here that you put one the hilt in one side and then the lightsaber blade on the other side. I don't like that. That looks ugly and kind of... I hate to say it, but half-assed on LEGO's part. Like, you had all this other room in your model that you could have fit a LEGO lightsaber blade, which is all of four studs long and not even entirely too big, and then a lightsaber hilt, which is only, like, two studs long and not that big either. Um, you could have fit the lightsaber hilt in one of those small little crates, and then the blade could have fit pretty much anywhere in the model. You could probably even put it in the cockpit with the Jedi, but... They had to do it with a clip, and I don't like that, so I came up with this box design. There is no box. I don't have the pieces to make a box. Barely had to make, I had barely had the pieces to finish this off, um, so that's unfortunate, but the box does just slide right down in there, and then when you need it, you just grab it and pull it right out, and it clips into place so you don't have to worry about it wobbling in and out or falling out when you're playing with it, so that's really nice. Uh, as for the tail section, it's a pretty standard tail section. This is pretty much like the standard Jedi one, it clips in right there. It's got the uh, Republic Armada insignia on it. Some translucent green up here, some translucent green there, and translucent green there, since I didn't point that out. It's got light green here. I'd prefer this to also be a light green. I, know, I just realized I have these in light green in that Lego box right over there, so I probably should have grabbed those. Uh, these in light green would be nice. Some of this in light green would be nice. This entire tail section, I would much rather be orange instead of like an orange and then a green. I don't really like that. I prefer the bright, bright orange. Uh, it's one stud wide, which gives it a little bit better seam going between these two uh, pieces on either side here. As you can see, there's no gap between them. The other type flag post thing that they had us used, you could like move it off to a side and I, I didn't like that so I went with one whole stud which honestly gives it better shape because instead of it being just like a square you can do a nice curved fin design to it like this and um, yeah that's pretty much it so that essentially wraps up the entire twin seat Jedi starfighter prisoner transport model um, I'd prefer if there was some s printing on maybe the pieces going down here if they weren't single pieces, maybe some on the side panels here, maybe a little bit on the tail section here, and then if these pieces here were actually like curved Lego bricks, maybe there as well. And if I didn't say any, maybe some on the wing here, um, like this bright orange, maybe something. Uh, that'd be really nice, but I don't print my own custom Legos, and that's unfortunate, so I can't do anything. Uh, some more of this, like, silver metallic would be really nice, uh, but, again, I can't print. So, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later in another YouTube video. This render is only 38% complete in the entire course that I started talking. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.